Thank you so much, Hugh. And while talking of climates of another kind, colder winters and drier summers are not the only effects of climate change we need to worry about. Our modern lifestyles have impacted the environment so much that we are now witnessing serious threats to food security, water supply and the health and well-being of our communities. Indeed we are. Now between the 30th of November and the 11th of December, world leaders will meet in Paris for the 2015 Climate Conference, also known as COP21, to agree on legally binding commitments to combat global warming. Both the councillors and delegates at the One Young World Summit happening right now in Bangkok have appealed to the leaders at COP21 to choose in favour of saving our planet. Really, climate change is going to be about water. We're going to experience water in all kinds of new ways. It's going to be too much in many areas, too little in two others, floods, storms, droughts. The other thing about climate change is like so many shocks to the system in this planet, it's going to disproportionately impact the poor. We've made great progress in the last two decades by getting safe water access to more than 2 billion people. But there's still nearly 700 million who lack access. I believe one of the first things that we should be keeping at the top of the agenda is looking at this through the lens of the poor and how we can help them recover from the issues that will inevitably strike the planet, but equally important, proactively helping them get access to these basic services of water and sanitation. And indeed, proactive action is so necessary, especially when you consider that South Africa produces more carbon emissions per capita than India and China, but we are ranked 46th on the list behind countries such as France and the United States. However, considering how much of our population lives in poverty, it is important for our leaders to act with urgency. South African One Young World Delegate Matthew Ziedler shared this speech at the Global Summit yesterday. Currently, the country's energy production is largely coal-based, placing South Africa among the top four in the world for coal consumption. But we live in one of the sunniest continents with year-round sunshine, producing higher solar radiation averages than some areas of the USA, making our solar resource one of the best in the world. South Africa needs agreement with international corporations to provide cost-effective means of implementing solar power, both within urban homes as well as rural areas. Sustainable energy will be key in lowering our current carbon footprint.